Hello, everybody, and welcome to the favorite place to be. That's a music Monday. We are really excited to start off this month with absolutely no one. I'm a lying sack of shit. Never mind. April Fool's, y'all. Okay. Uh, well, as always, we got Mike Familiar and Irex Savage. How y'all doing? We good. We in this bitch. Murderworth in this bitch like vitamins and minerals. In this bitch like a tampon. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so by all means, why don't you tell us who we are bringing to the stage? Give me a intro for me. This is a homie of ours for how long? How long? Because y'all, because the two of you have been working longer than I've known him, but like, I, th- I feel like we've known each other for like a collective of like three years. Yeah, three. Three years about. So this is rapper, singer, songwriter, Kizoto the Human, also an affiliate member of Murderworth Click, as we are together. And um, yeah, we all have music together that like um, is pretty dope. Y'all should check it out. Uh, just what else uh, do you do together? Smoke. And then there was a time that Kizuato had to babysit me on my first mushroom trip. So there was that. Um, nice. And yeah. shows. And shows. Shows, shows too. Shows too. Yep. All also, right. I had my first Henny with Kizuato, so there's that too. Um, you ain't never had Henny? No, nah, no. Nah. I'm I'm a Henny baby. A Henny baby. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, have we ever heard of a Henny baby? Okay, you guys are definitely excited. I need to see some audience reaction for our guest coming up on a Music Monday. Please, please do it. Bring them up. Show us the uh-huh. <laughs> what you know about that handy plenty New York getting the many. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the zen, he put the ZD in the penny out of vodka. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up, man? What's man, good? I waited like one to two years to be here. I know, I know. You know what? I do apologize for the long de- delayed delayer, but I I waited for the year of the dragon to bring you up. Yes. I was a young teen when I first wanted to be on here. I was 17, 18, and now I'm a 20-year-old, and I'll soon be able to legally buy Hennessy. Legally. That hasn't legally. Driving a tank and a motherfucking tank, too. Sadly, that's not on the list. But that's I don't know here. what that means. If you guys want to tell familiar, me what that now. means. Inside familiar, Joke, yeah. End is Upon Us. That's, a, that's another end track. Is uh, end is Upon Us. The Driving a whip in a motherfucking tank top. Hey, you know you're around a laptop. Mario Kart. Uh, it's time I go mask off. Yes. Because mm. I really made it. You made know, it to my after, closet. After a really long delay and life happening to each and every one of us, 2024 is going with a banger. We got merch this year. Check out IREC with the it was, it was merch it madness. Out. Now it's April sadness. And we're ready to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Get them tears flowing. So, do, do you want to start off with a question or do you want to play the crowd some music? How you want to do this, bro? I want the host to guide us in the right direction. Yo, how about we play that joint bateau side that the three of us did? Bateau side. Oh, okay. You guys want to tell me what the fuck that means? Okay, so bateau side is a character off of this anime that the three of us watch called Roroni Kenshin or Samurai X, depending on uh, who's Mm -hmm. where you're watching in the world and shit. Uh, This is off of a tape that I produced with Kizoto called um, Scars of Familiarity. It's a six track EP that we put together. Sex Uh, track? Yes, a sex track, a sex track. Plus one. Yes. Five plus plus one is what? New York gods in this. Yes, New York gods in this piece. Oh, let me do this on because you can see it better. It's strong Island, not Long, Long Island. Island. Strong, strong Island. Never disrespect. Never disrespect. Let's go. Brooklyn. Never I disrespect right, Billy Joel and the uh, Bengals. Three shot. Three. Never disrespect three. Billy Joel and the Bengals. They know. <laughs> they know three. they was there. Hold your arm. Hold your arm. All American. Okay, three shot. They know about three it. Shot. We made it. You made it. Twenty twenty four. EP was hard. Let me take care of you. Um, oh, I don't know what's happening. That is the sweetest shit I've ever heard. Um, okay. Play so, a song. Play a song, man. Play a song, man. 
Everybody mute the fuck up. Taking this greatness. Guys, at man, Gizzardo the human, Mike familiar, murder worth clicking this hoe. Yeah, I've been so down lately. You seem so lonely. Don't know what's wrong with me, baby. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. I alone in mystery and my abandoned home. This slayer man either call me death and con. They catch me flying real high through the cosmos like a comet. I couldn't care about your comments if I could. You never gonna catch me shook, bitch. I could read you like a book. Why you got me so misunderstood? You know I would've saved you if I even could. Now I'm laying down in all my regrets. Let shrooms and bulk out my chest. Yes, yes, I know I need to rest. It's easier said than done. Now I can't get out my head. Feels like I've been on the run. Just trying to get myself ahead. Hope my dead friends and I will meet again. When I'm gone, you won't get another one like me again, son. Got my blade shedding blood on the Potosa. But don't act reckless, you don't want to lose your left eye. Yeah, you know I'm the last person you will see. Leave you bleeding in the street, living in a bloody sea. A word of web is woven. Another path, another thread is chosen. I still ain't dead, but you can bet I'm ghosting. That every mess you run my head that goes in. After the pressure till it's set emotion. I'm fed up with the motion. So many regrets and dead devotions. I'm finna the seven tides and set explosions. Gotta subtract, gotta find the quotient. Get my guts back as I find a frozen. Reach your final form, I'll find the focus after I get open. Fighting woes until I'm inviting foes. Living up these lows, yeah, you know just how it goes. Depositing composed, I'm striking like I'm lost within my throes. I like it when I'm lost within my zone. Choking up my smoke, don't gas me no more. Life's a fucking joke and I don't ask for the score. I laugh when I'm always put to task with the force. My wrath left me lonely, it don't ask for remorse. Focus on myself is the last resort. Wanted to be wanted until they understood what I was asking for. Forward the cars, deleted the replies, what they asking for. A little bit of my time, cause we lost touch. Sitting around doing nothing, why I lost so much? Ended up with us, I don't have the capacity to be the favorite one, but they pick me number one. On to the next one, a future endeavor, I hope it is better. Focus on the craft, sharpen the blade too easily. The impact when I cut off the lifelines that held me back. I create the mulligans in this unforgiving verse. Forever on the defensive, fighting to defend my piece of turf. Always looking forward, nothing's worse than living life as a servant. I've been so down lately, you seem so lonely. Don't know what's wrong with me, baby. We'll never know, we'll never know. We'll never know, die alone in mystery, in my abandoned home. I'll never oh. know. Oh, 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 I'll oh, never oh, know. That banger. that banger could be safe. I'll never me. know. Yeah. Okay. That, that, one, that one went crazy when we did that shit live last year. Yeah. It was kind of like... I remember that day specifically because that that was a day that like vocal dinosaur also made an appearance. Vocal, vocal. I rec was there, but vocal, I, well, dinosaur. vocal dinosaur did show up too. Click. Vocal. This vocal. month we've got murder work. Vocal Click dinosaur. coming through, giving us. You're play. muted, I rec. Oh. I was gonna right. say, I was gonna say, I was de- dealing with su- with such a bad case of disassociation that day. Like I felt like I was not in my body, but I was there. Yeah, me yeah, and I, I, I wrecked you drove in my all car, the way my up. Dad's car, huh? I remember I found you. In my Wait, hold dad's on, I'm car. so sorry. Like, what what are you guys like? talking about? We're talking about the first tour that we did. This is like when I rec and I first met each other in person, and yeah. Kizu and I met each other first in person. I um, met both the first time that day. Yeah, yeah, like we uh, my block. yeah, me and I rec, I, I picked him up from Atlantic City Airport, and then we drove all the way from Atlantic City 
to Long Island and like we were all just kicking it. Ginger was there too. Uh JCP was there. JCP. Yeah, it was good vibes. Yeah. Real good vibes. Some other guys was there too. We ain't gonna speak about those. Was it kissy face vibes? Was it kissy face? It was it was kissy it's, face. It's, it's kissy face. I ran into your arms. I was like, oh my boy. There's a whole lot of faces. <laughs> he, he he was he was a lot Kiss was a back. lot taller than I thought he was gonna be. Cause I legit thought he was gonna be like like at least five nine or something like that. He's like one inch taller than me. So like I, I was just like, all right, this is different. Okay, cool. Like, yeah. Yeah, you kind of tall, boy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we've I been doing music for like three like years. Back, like I was I was like, damn. All right, what hit him. Man? Hit him where it hurts. Big man. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, oh, first question. Didn't he drop my grape soda? How, you, how did you decide to get into music? He's a tall individual. Let's ask him a question. If you guys have any questions that you do want to ask, drop it in the comments. Okay. I reckon is taking our first question. Hit it. Let's go. How did you decide to get into music? It was, it was a very long decision I had to make. I, I, I've always been around music growing up, you know, Everyone grows up around music. Everyone has, you know, family that listens to something. But my family is just very in tune, especially my mom. She also grew up in the music shit. You know, she had a lot of, you know, time in the music when she was younger. You know, she actually was married to a musician before she met my dad. And, oh, you know, yeah. So she she likes to, you know, take Change that time. And be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, you knew what you were doing in 1979. <laughs> but like, it's 2020. Oh. But I, I, I love what she tells me because it's definitely insightful. So because a lot of her music definitely inspired my love for music. But it really took me, you know, to get into high school to really need to sit down and be like, I need something to vent to. And I got into a lot of different musicians. Like I reconnected with musicians I was growing up with, like, you know, Kid Cudi, Kanye and shit like that. And then I heard like, you know, I started listening to X and I also reconnected with Joji more because joji actually i never I, I was connected to joji the whole time joji's one of my main inspirations i've been listening to him since filthy frank before like even when he was still doing it i was listening to the joji shit when he was doing that just on the side so when he started becoming mainstream it was like it was crazy to see that so like i got to experience all of that and you know then x came around and i was like i like all of this shit that they're doing and i feel like i could do it and i've always liked making you know content and creating things you know i tried youtube i've made like cover songs you know i used to draw i i used to make comic books i was like you know i like sound so like I, I tried it and i was like i don't really like my writing so i tried to write better and then i was like wait i can write better and so, when, I, when i realized i could write better I, I enjoyed it a lot more so i kept doing it okay hashtag cookies and beer Cookies, <laughs> cookies, and beer. That's, God that's damn. The, man. If my mom sees that, she's gonna be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> that's that's a deep. That's that's some insight shit. Inside that's, joke. Like, um, you need to get on that beat when. when yeah. Mike, 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 Mike. Cookies and beer. Uh, that's the name. That, that, no, that's the sample. Ooh. Okay. Mike, we got a yep. question from three four five Leafy. Okay, so three four five says, "What pushes you harder to make better music?" We were kind of like just right on top of that. I, like I was saying, like realizing that I can get better was really interesting to me because usually I would kind of fall off on things or leave, like lose interest. But for this, uh, I was kind of like I had I, I felt an intimate connection with it. I was like, I kind of like this. And then I'm, I'm realizing shit that I, you know, had a connection to growing up anyway. And I was like, this all is starting to make sense. All the, the pieces are coming together. So I was like. This 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 means something to me. This is not more than a hobby. This is this has a bond with me. So I want to be making a lot of moves. Mm -hmm. You've been making a lot of moves in your mm -hmm. circle. So you know, Even, um you you had like a show at Son of Egg a couple of times. Yeah, a few, um, a few. That's a very prominent venue you, right now. Was was uh, the show that we did at Shakers Pub in Long Island uh the second time you've been there or is like that was second the time second time I was at Shakers, yeah. Okay. I, the first show I ever did was at Shaker's Pub with Spacey. It was I don't know if it was his first time in New York, but he was coming to New York. I was just at that venue, and you all know this already, but I'm repeating for the show. I went there to go see Johnny Craig and Keep My Secrets because I've been a big fan of Keep My Secrets for about a few years at that point. 
and I was starting to get into Johnny Craig because they were together. So it's like, you know, they're, they're in my state. They're in my home state, my area, Long Island. I'm like, I want to start getting out the shows more because I want to start performing. So I went there. I, I saw the live performances and I saw the openers. And then, you know, as soon as I'm heading back upstate from the show, I, I get the message from Spacey. Hey, I'm going to be doing a show here. I'm like, you motherfucker. And it's the same lineup. So I'm like, I know all these people. I've seen these people before. So I basically, I didn't talk to them at the show, but I, I, I got to see their music. So I was like, wow, you know, I was, it was like, I called it. It was like, it was, I was bound to go there. I was like, I was meant to go there. So I was like, hashtag clear vision collective. Yes. Hashtag clear vision. Hashtag Shout out CBC. I, I want to yeah. piggyback on a question that somebody in the comments asked. Can you just tell us like, who are your musical influences? Can you like give oh, us yeah. some names? I would say the top five, probably X, Joji, Tyler, the creator, Corbin, and I'd say hmm, myself. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I was having a brain fart, so I didn't want to leave you hanging there. So I'd say I guess that's my top four because... I don't want to just give you one last one because I, I I always change, you know. I always have like a different vibe I'm going through, so people are always like giving me different vibes at one point. I thought she was gonna say Kanye. I mean, he he's on there, but he's not in the top five. He's like top yeah. ten. Like, I feel I, like I, everybody at some point was influenced by Kanye. I mean, um, minus minus the. I mean the the fucker. The graduation but. album is by far the only thing I care about as far as Kanye goes. Burzum. No, Gra- Burzum, graduation not and Burzum. um the the one the one that was Vultures. after not vultures oh. fuck that uh um, that, vultures not that no I got it on my body um you guys can we my, uh, can we all dark this fan question which sure. sun do sun chips smack or not um, yes sun chips okay, okay. Uh, your great grandma bringing her to life okay so all right sun chips is a kiss on the cheek doritos is a kiss on the forehead that's what i feel like i mean what is better i feel like it's opposite i feel like sun kid sun chips or kiss on the forehead and doritos are kiss on the cheek but like what I, that's I, that's a confusing analogy i'm just saying like you know i mean they're both good depending on what you what you need but I feel a like kiss. Four, forehead kisses are powerful, though. Like I feel like know. forehead kisses are dismissive. Like, <laughs> fuck out man. of here. I gave my I gave my nephew a forehead kiss that and I was like, man, little boy. I was like, little boy. boy. I was like, is yeah. you my boy? Yeah. I was like, is you boy? I was like, it was like, man. I just felt like I was like, boy. In some places, a forehead kiss is what you do to a hoe, so you don't kiss their mouth. I feel. <laughs> you. I feel that. Oh, let's get into this one. So, um, oh, this wasn't the order, but f- let's fucking go. So, all right, the order. Where's Dahlia at? Murder she, click show. Anyway, she gotta uh, go. Right. Murder worth click podcast starting now. <laughs> uh, God damn it! <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Coming Don't soon. Worry about it. Coming soon. Uh, hashtag hey. breast to bun ratio. Press the button ratio. Wow, I like that. Me, me personally, I'm more of a you know a, a bun to breast. I like low breast, a lot of bun. Mm. Anyway, getting into this uh, one. This one uh, was uh, produced uh, by. Uh, this one was produced by um, our homie Raid. Shout out Raid. Yeah, see, Shout out Raid. He's oh, a fucking is. legend, especially the on goat, trash. The best man out of Arizona. Raid yeah. is a fucking genius, bro. Yeah, dope producer, awesome personality in general. The one also has the best memes. The memes is dank. Humors. Meme game. Who's on that meme game? Drop a meme in. Yeah, my my dog twisted. Yeah. Raid is a fucking genius. All right, this is crabs in a bucket, y'all. Let's tap in. Wait, hold on, real quick. What the fuck is crabs in a bucket? Is that a disease? Can we? Can you ask that after we play the song? (laughs) <laughs> All right, fine. Makes fine. sense. Okay. Mute the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. 
running out of time in this sad life is man my life is depressing like a sad violin y'all hate self improvement like crabs in a bucket my fuck around and just say fuck it fuck this put a fucking bullet in me motherfuckers think they're playing with me like pussy ass boy put your neck in that noose stomp you out in my tims leave a chip in your tooth yeah yeah young cazoto really never fuck with passion young cazoto never cared about his actions all these bitches only know about the act and i'm just trying to make money till i'm in a fucking mansion never live a bitterness not messing god this is always saying that i'm missing ops always speaking on my fucking name they ain't mad they tight that i'm getting all the fame running out of time in the sad life is sin my life is depressing like a sad violin y'all hate self-improvement like crabs in a bucket might fuck around and just say fuck it barrel of the bucket you motherfuckers rattle in the ruckus you be stuck in with the others matter running nothing but they mothers stab the one in front and up they got the one above us grabbing their knuckles as they suffer i've been a struggle with the suckers masterfully stuck and now they stuck us man the bulls in the muzzle but they buzz and they bug us i bet they want something from us hating me hating them hating us shady gems beating ends and attempt to adjust latched on the hems and attempted the bus meeting up with intentions to jux tempers of flux members Dismember the crush, it's a trend to ascend in a rush Back to the wall in this mass, not distracted at all You can ball, you can pass, I just laugh when you fall Hey, that shit was on scroll you Might fuck yeah. around and just say fuck it Yeah Yeah, be some real hip hop right now Oh yeah Thank you, Tell Double. I really appreciate watching that. Dude, so Irek, did you do the visuals? And then you guys met said character, and then I don't like what so the people who actually did this music video was Scroll. Scroll. Uh Scroll is a, a big uh YouTube channel for like a lot of underground artists. Um, they're like do do they like our affiliates are trash or yeah. like is yeah. that they're a part of trash pretty much? Yeah. And tra um, Trash is another big YouTube channel that like hosts underground artists. Uh, they have a like really big platform, so like, yeah, a lot of people I noticed pop off from there. Yeah, Irex been on Scroll and Trash, so uh, I'm still waiting on Trash. That's y'all guys been on Trash. I've been on Scroll multiple times, but oh, not Trash. Oh, okay, not Trash. Okay, yeah. I was so. gonna be on Toxic, but they said I fucked up the contract and they never let me redo it. Damn. Are you not Toxic enough? I guess Dang. not. I'm too positive. Dang, I'm on Toxic on May for May third. Yeah, May third. Nice. Bless, yeah. bless Thank the you. gods, all of them. Bless the gods. Bless the fucking gods. Oh my god. Bless all the gods. It's question time. Um, uh, I don't have to what you like to wear? What color panties do you like to wear? <laughs> None. All right, so I want this. What is the wildest experience while recording? You fought it in the middle. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. I'd say probably the wildest experience probably had to be either the first time I recorded in the studio with a another person or the first time I recorded in the studio with Ginger Jesus. Those yeah. Are different oh. scenarios. First time was with the homie in the chat, Downtown Network. He was the first person I recorded with besides myself. I went to the homie's studio, Keo, out in all, one of the goats out there. And we made so many bangers out in that fucking studio. And it was great. And the first one we did, I did it all off the dome. I was like, you just do what you do. I'll just do it. And then I was like, yeah. man, we the best, yeah. best music, DJ Khaled. And the rest was history. Another one. Another so, one. So that was wild. Like you just going off the top of dawn. You didn't like kick nobody. Nobody fought. No, like, no, no crazy. Nobody fell asleep while recording. I mean, that's, that's why I'm saying the second time. The other probably it, it could be a little crazier because it was with Ginger Jesus and it was in another state. That was another that guy. I, I've never recorded in another state with that guy of all yeah, fucking people. I was there for that. He was yeah. there for it. Fucking. I fell asleep at one point. I fell asleep at one point because I was just too faded. No, I was, yeah. a, pair of, I was a pair of jeans in the sun. The whole gang was pretty much there. I think it was dry. And I was just I was just recording my most grimy shit of like the decade. I was saying some great bars. Was for some, it, yeah, for some relevant people. Yeah, I was eating ass 
on live on track. Wait, why were you eating ass? <laughs> like, you know, sometimes you just gotta eat the groceries before they get in the food. <laughs> you Yo, just gotta wait. you gotta eat the groceries before they so get out the is car. Your wildest studio experience, yes? Eating a bussy. No, I, I'm not, not. I'm not literally. Not a figurative. I'm figuratively doing this. Look, are you talking enough to answer the question? No. He gets into the studio to eat it. I mean, ass mentally. I go to the studio. I bring a twink with me, and I do my thing. <laughs> you seem like the type that eats Snickers. All right. Um, <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Battle bars. <laughs> Let me get my yeah. off for that. Dude, no, you my... put that down. You put that down. <laughs> no. This is about you right now. Focus. <laughs> you. This feels like fucking middle school all over. Fucking game, dude. <laughs> Were you not wearing jeans? Get that out of your fucking get, get that out of your hands. Why'd you bring that here? Did you, did you have shorts on? <laughs> no, nah, I had I had leggings. Like what? like t- like tight leggings? Like no. oh like <laughs> like like loose nah, nah, windbreaker? No, nah, I was just wearing like fucking shorts. <laughs> shorts. Shorts. <laughs> I was wearing Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. That takes me back. No fat ass pockets. Yo, 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 yo. I saw a guy with the G Shock watch on today. A G Shock? That's old school as fuck. Why? All right. Everybody in the comments, did you own a G Shock at least once in your life? I'm trying to figure out who's in here. Anyway, I had a Timex. I had a Timex. What the you had a Timex? Yeah, it's probably like you know, the, it was the Coles Timex, you know, so not the official Timex. Like, no, nigga, what? I don't wear watches, so I'm lost. I mean, I also had like a Never. fake pair of Oakley. So, like, okay, we got a G Shock, we got three, four, five, got a G Shock. Okay, my ass is too Gen Z for that. shit. Yo, that deserves a Gorilla's G Shock. Nice. Oh, god damn, um, first fucking downtown, nice, like, fucking just. Out of nowhere, gorilla. I stole there. my dad's. I like you already, Alexa. Damn. I like you already, Alexa. Hell yeah. yes. Go we'll tell the whole hood. You know what? Fist bump. Fist bump. I don't know if you can see me. Fist bump, Alexa. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. let's all go. Uh, no, Alexa. not a jock strap, a G Shock. Okay. Bro, my my homie got a Roly and he was like showing it to me. I was like, he's like, yeah, I got a Roly and I was just like, we can roll is that cool? And he's like, nigga, it costs $9,000. I was Let's like, is that a lot for a watch? Let's get rid of the avalanche. It's... Having a watch was the most frustrating shit because when you lost that shit, there's no getting it back. Yes, nigga. Yeah. I... Nah. What's the next song? Next song. No, Let's get into want... the next... no, no, no. I don't want a song right now. She, she want to talk to you. We've been talking about who what? is the who is the rapper? I bet I met who is the rapper. I want to talk. Was that a, was that a syntax who is the rapper? <laughs> <laughs> who is the best rapper? Me. Next question. <laughs> who is the rapper? <laughs> Me. I'm so the like, rapper. So like some a prosecutor in church says. Who's the top? Who's the bottom? <laughs> oh my god! Or Clint Mike Familiar saying, "Who's the rapper? <laughs> Who's the rapper?" All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. People want to know. People, people be asking questions. Favorite That's producers? why I can't. Favorite songs. producers? Shit. JCP. JCP. Yep. Wee wee. Wade. All right, we're gonna play some music. Um, <laughs> definitely. He's on that ooh woo energy right I'm now. On that ooh woo pack. Man, R- RXM on the heads. RXM, yeah. Shout out RXM to RXM. Definitely, y'all check him out. We got to get him on the show at some point too. He's. Trash, trash gang. Shout out chaotic. The chaotic, chaotic the crash, the Godfather. Yes. Godfather. Okay, the tell Godfather. us about what we're about to see and go. We're about to see one of the best AMVs of the year. Me and my great friend, Chaotic the Crackhead. It was a pleasure to do this song with him. I'm also 
on it. This song is also on his uh, debut tape of the year, uh, and I'm on two songs on that tape. This is the first song on the tape, and there's another song. I didn't put it on because two is too many. You got to keep it. I had to have other people on the list. So I was like, I'm going to pick the best, and I think he would want me to play this one. So especially since there's a it's especially since there's a three two one Watch you know about the fuck, wrap me up, we keep it cup, pump me out your little tech, like your bummy tech and fuck. It's my time I said it right. So the prank don't make me fight. Bitch, I don't apologize. I heard your track a thousand times. So vibe gripping, your brain stem twitching. Fall out with me, I'ma bomb all you peasants. Bo bo dipping, my blunt still ripping. Y'all not in league, I'm a ball like pippin'. Welcome to the party, she gon' ride it like a Harley. We be numbing up our nose, main shouts out to Charlie, I'ma pop out. in the middle of the breakdown welcome back everybody we just watched chaotic the crackhead kazoo because the water the human is the human <laughs> it, it, it went it went cantonese for a second because <laughs> the, the, the human that's crazy ah! that is insane uh okay i don't know what that means murder work with lhc i don't know lhc don't e it ain't even real bro long car cock <laughs> kizu wato kizu wato i think i think yeah. shout I think out Charlie, yo if you ever become a producer your producer tag should be like hello kizu hello, like, hello moto <laughs> Hello, I'll have, I'll have down. I'll have downtown do it. I'll have downtown do it. Or that should just be a tag for the next tape you do. But that's a hold on the conversation. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. I really liked crabs in a bucket. You didn't tell me what the fuck that meant. Crabs so, in a bucket. Crabs yeah. in a, crabs in a bucket is from uh, an idiom, I believe, where like it's a crabs in a bucket mentality, as in other people hate on you and pull you down. Because like if crabs in a bucket, they're all fighting to the top. It comes from that. But what does your song mean in relation to that? I wanted to answer that part. Now I gotta think about a an answer for that question. So give yeah, me think a faster. Well, I would say at that very moment, there was a lot of things going on. There was definitely a lot of people who were definitely with that mentality. I mm. was you know, in school at the time. So I was really thinking about people around me and how they were trying to bring me down and how they're all like not successful now besides the people who stuck around me, you know, and that's true. And that's true. Ask anybody, anyone from my school who didn't stick around me, nobody. So you're saying that that song was aimed at people from school. That was, that was still, I made that while I was in school. Yes. I was in, I was like either 11th grade or senior year. And I was like, man, these motherfuckers suck. Cock and yeah. balls. I mean, Big like no. he was kind of he's kind of going like on on a, on a sense of like um staying away from the crabs in the bucket. And like I was speaking in the position of what it's like to be in the crabs in the bucket, barrel Damn. of the bucket. You motherfuckers rattling and ruckus, you'd be stuck in with the, with the others. others. 
Mr. The Human, what's your favorite track in that you've made so far? So what's the favorite song you made so far? That's a good question. I would say that I have a I'd say I have a few. I'd say like there's songs like, you know, there's a few from the, me and Mike's tape, like the Toe Side, Demon Core, shit like that. Like those are A class like omens. And then there's shit from my most recent album, Humanity, like Kizu EXE, mm. uh Sight and there's just like the whole tape that whole album is good and there's just so many other singles like i've done a song with dead stark which is a phenomenal song life's a blur uh go if you want to go with cool benja like you could like the list goes on and then there's the murderworth catalog so it's very hard fuck that i want to hear i'm going to alberta <laughs> going to alberta that's my shit that's not have... on the list we could just drop the link. It's not that okay. hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. This is anything goes. Music Monday. You know. Yeah. It's not really. Oh right. It's it's not even real. It's April Fools. This is this is a figment of everyone. We're head. we're yeah. we're just a in a dream right now. Swaying hair person. Pink swaying hair person. Pink swaying hair. Okay. I dropped the link. I think this is a good song. See, look, people are asking for it. Alberta, that song is cool. Please. He performs this song a lot at shows. So it's wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I got a question I've never questioned because I never thought to question it. Which Ask it. I feel like questioning it. What are your favorite lyrics that echo in your mind daily that you wrote? I'm going to Alberta. Okay. I'm going, going to, to Alberta. Running around in the town of a danger. This is the most ADD episode I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just gotta, you just gotta roll with it. <laughs> this is like what? Pregunta. If you only pregunta. understood. <laughs> pregunta, amigo. Esta es una pregunta aquí, por favor. Okay. What are your favorite lyrics that you wrote that echo in your mind daily? He, he already answered it though. No, he didn't. Oh, 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 I'll, it's fine. I'll just repeat it. Okay. I told you. Running around in the town, I'm a danger. Which is one of the songs on the list, so you'll you can hear the you'll hear the rest of it, but just that part, just I when I hear that part, I'm like, yeah, the song's gonna go hard, and I can I do it. I do that song word for word. I never fuck that song up. Hey, I'm running around in the town, I'm in danger. This is what happens when you get four neo divergent people on a on a fucking interview call. <laughs> just pure mania. <laughs> Yes, Pure I'm tismal. excited. I'm so excited to actually get like, you here. Like, I wreck not even in a real house right now. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I, uh, hey. this, this is real authentic background right here. <laughs> Maz, por favor. Okay, everybody, if you haven't already, share the stream. We are not going to yeah. stream anymore if we go below 10. You have priorities. Share the stream right now. We got Kizuwaru. His Wadu, the human in that. <laughs> God damn, man. Y'all really gonna get me kicked off. Come on, don't do this. I'm not I'm not toxic enough to know how to pronounce shit. Um Mania Madness. <laughs> man, senorita, can we can we escuchamos? Escuchamos, my pants are down. Like la, la, la Cassion. Um, 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 uh, I'm going to Alberta. Okay, 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 okay. I dropped the link. I better freestyle. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, everybody. Mute, everybody, mute, mute, mute the fuck up. Mute the fuck up, please. Porfa. Mute, muting, muting. Isoko is a faggot.
Steve is fucking dead. Just get on the Steve Wilco show instead. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Flying in the sky like I am the biggest bird. I'ma have to go up with the black to the burbs. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Fucking on some bitch, then I'm fucking on some bros. Fucking on some hoes, then I'm sucking on some toes. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Now with me, going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Going to Alberta. Now scream. Going to Alberta. 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 Just get on the Steve Wilco show instead. Let's get on the Steve Woko show instead. Isn't that that Looney Tune dude? No. Oh. No. He's uh he's the dad talk show host guy personality. Way more G get than Doc. Stage. Way more G than Dr. Phil could ever be. Let's be real on that. Way more G than Dr. Completely Phil. Completely different battlefield than what Dr. Phil does. Yeah, because no offense, Dr. Phil, but all no the offense. offense. Dr. Phil, but you will. Bitch. Everybody, All day, bitch. everybody, everybody, going to Alberta. Going, going to, to Alberta. Alberta. Going, going to Alberta. Alberta. Going, going to Alberta. Alberta. Going I'm to Alberta. A I'm a spider. Drop <laughs> some hand emojis in the comments if you're there. All right. If you do have any questions, this is about that halftime moment where you might get it in. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm but, sure that's, that's, but that's but that's a. That's the song you perform at shows a lot, right? Every show so far of the year. Yo. Oh my god, did we ask this question? No. No, this is my question. What inspired the direction of singing to Spiders in the Shower? Because I noticed like this is the first time I want to say that you went in this direction for a whole EP. So what 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 inspired the change? Well, I was definitely getting into this genre for a very long time and I've been discovering a lot more bands that are doing it. And I was just in a very rough state where I was feeling these emotions that felt the most properly expressed on these types of songs. And since I've been wanting to do something like this anyway, I thought I would try to construct like just some sort of basis. It started off with the first song and then I was like, I want to do another and then I want to do another. So then I was like, I got to put them on a tape now because I have too many. And it was originally going to be a full length project that was going to be on all platforms. But, you know, the first beat with the first song that dropped, which was a single, the, the beat just disappeared from YouTube. I couldn't find it. I couldn't buy it. I don't know who the producer is. And then another song on the list, which I don't think it's not on the list, but it's on the album. Uh, it got sold. I was like, I don't want to have to replace the tight beat with another tight beat. So I was like, I'll just drop the demo tape. And since it's a demo, if I ever want to finalize it and make it a full fortified project, I can do that. You know, either re-record or take the stems from it and, you know, make it more constructive. But it was just a raw motion project anyway. So it didn't really have a real goal, at least mainstream wise. It was just to let out, you know, it, it was it was just me going back to my roots. Vent, I noticed I kind of I, I kind of noticed that with like songs like Imperfect that like you definitely have that that piece in you where um while rapping might be your base you're definitely like on like an alternative trip too so so you definitely got room to like move around with those styles and shit like that so yeah cuz there's always been those elements in my music anyway and I've always like I said, I grew up on a lot of different genres, especially growing up, you know, with, you know, Long Island parents, you know, that Billy Joel and all that fucking, you know, old person rock music. And then I got to listen to the radio, too. And um, then also the music my friends showed me. So it was always vast. And then YouTube, too, growing up on the Internet, I got to hear all that, too. So I just got, you know, all sorts of ends of music early on. So once I got to the age that I can really 
go out and experience more music. I already know where to look and I can learn new places. And that's where I discovered SoundCloud. I learned this place like Band Lab, Band Camp, and shit like that. And you're muted. You're muted. <laughs> I'm not muted. Golly, you bull. Uh, damn. All right. I forgot my question. I don't. I did it. I did it. I did not. Uh, what age were you when you really embodied becoming what you would call a musician? 16. Gotcha. Okay. Next question. Favorite features? Keys. Because it was done. I guess I know why he's asking that question because he wants to hear his name. He's on the list. So I'll do non Murderworth features because those are definitely very important too. But everyone knows, you know, Murderworth Click, I'm in Murderworth Click. So when I work with them, it's kind of the same. And they're, you're always going to expect them. And it's always pleasant. But it's always nice when I get to, you know, work with people that I don't get to work with that often because then they do become you know, common staples in my catalog, which I love because I love having people I can work with at any time in downtown. Definitely one of them. Like I said, he was the dude I first recorded with in a studio. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, he's not the first one, but he's the first one I did officially and I and I dropped. That's for mm. sure. But he, yeah, sorry, I lied on your name. But yeah, <laughs> you, you're definitely a very important, you know, feature and you definitely got me used to like actually recording at studios because when i first did it it was very rough and it was just for fun and the song is vaulted and that was just with the homie and shout out that homie because he's goaded and he used to make more music but yeah fucking downtown that that feature was great much yeah, love his, downtown his Odo and mike that's a great combination anyone from murderworth click and me is a great combination but then outside of that you know i got the other 518 homies i got controlled great we got a few songs we got one that's out currently called once again that's a great song and we're where, where, where's, that that one? where's that one where's that one can we do the ones on the list because there's a because oh. kizu has an expansive universe there's if so we many every, there's so many songs we cover every want, comic book we'll be here trying for to go a few hours trying to go for a few hours you know there's a part of me that knows that people are here for you and i want them to know all about you so I don't know. We could we could do once again. Okay, we, maybe not right now. Let's do, yeah, let's do a song on the list first, but we could put once again in the chat. Well, but no, yeah, homie we'll, on spiders right now. Yes. Yeah, we could finish that. We'll finish. We'll finish the spiders. Okay. And then we'll get to once again. I'm but yeah, show controlled. Spiders. That's a that's a great collaborator. <laughs> I got my homie Pook. She's a great collaborator. We we did a song called uh, "Hate Me Too," and I I got to do that song live. For Damn, my boy, time. work it. Yeah, we got we got to do that song live for the second time in New York City mm. uh uh last month and that was it was it was a great crowd and they loved it. I got to go stand on a fucking bench and someone handed me two Oreos and I ate them. <laughs> it was so good. And I, I and they were and Pook was like, "Where's Kizoto?" I was on the whole other end and I'm fucking like, "Get out of my way." I'm like, "Hey." Cuz the song's like, "Hey." And I'm like, "Hey." Hey, and then when I get the mic, I'm like, "Hey," to the whole crowd, and it was pleasant. It was uh, pleasant, and it just it you made removed it. Ooh, huh? What, ha what, what is happened? That? What link is that? Son got removed. Uh, what link is that? Ooh, is it what, on? Um, what link is that, Dahlia? The spiders. Hold up. Hold on, bro. Yeah, just is... just go to the just go to my SoundCloud. It'll be there. Milk. Did they have milk? milk. <laughs> oh, milk Enes. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, since I dropped it, I must have changed the link. Here. Um, all right. Three, two, one. Mute. If you guys haven't already, this is where you can find Kizuwato the human. You fucked it up again. I did. I did. <laughs> Uh, that, that one right there is the first one. Is Watto the human? <laughs> that one right there. You think I don't hurt? Kizu, Kizu Watto. You yes. did not do it right. All right, Kizu I'm not gonna talk very much today. I keep fucking up. <laughs> All right, are we muting? Yeah, just say kids. Just say kids. Kids. Okay, kids. Wait a second, kids. Which one are we playing from this? That one. The first oh. one. Wait, that's with the not cow. That one. With the cow. Yeah, that but one. where's the spiders? 
That's just it's all, it's, there's, it's there's, a, not, there's no spiders on the cover art. I'm sorry. This song this song is on the spiders album. It's yes. on the project. Yes, the yes. project. So yes. I can play this right now, and this is yes. what we're yes. talking about. Play the one with the cow. Seven other messages. Seven other messages. Seven other messages. I just want to say this. I want. I want to say this. I want to say this. Go ahead. I, pre I appreciate how like it, how different all these songs are from each other, and it's all coming from the same human. Like that's that's very, that's very like that's what like bro is super talented, bro. And like Thanks. I also feel, I also feel like you know more connected to this song, especially like knowing the backstory behind it. So like that's another thing that like I can definitely appreciate hearing because i think this is like my third time hearing this song like from the times we've been on discord at least and um yeah there, there's there's lore behind this project the, bro the lore was developing before this very call you know yeah. I, i'm gonna have to call you after mike to call tell you about it real 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 to the real new chapter for the lore damn you know season two kiswato yeah, yeah. <laughs> season you know, two. This, this, this full fledged yeah. album might come around. The full, the full might be done. I'm gonna have to call some bands in advance. And be like, I might get my heart broken. Hold on, we need to talk. I'm gonna get my heart broken. He's like, I have a question. <laughs> y'all niggas talking about inside shit. We let's. We don't know what y'all talking about. Next, next topic. Scoop in. I keep the scoop out. Um. All right. Since uh, wait, what? Like since... the poop? Poopity scoop. <laughs> Whoopity scoop. Poopity scoop. Poop. Scoop Anyways, poop. I have something to mention. I've never done this before. Uh, since we have waited so long to get kids on an episode in the Year of the Dragon, if you are a part of this live stream, you can join our Discord. It is where we uh, keep all things exciting in there. There's some very interesting human beings. Uh, there's already 60 members, and I'm not even trying. So Rick Sanchez and, uh, is there. Because we got Rick Sanchez. We got Bart Simpson. We got Jack the Ripper. I mean, Batman. So we got Batman. Fuck uh, nigga. Yeah, we got we got people arguing with with Harley Quinn on the daily. So because we got kids in here, I definitely want you guys to check that out. I don't do that for oh, anybody, no. and actually have never done that. I have never done that. I don't, don't, mind, I don't even like right people now. that much. Right. Anyways, I like you guys just, today. Just drop the, the Discord link in the description of the YouTube video. That's uh, that part. Would y'all would y'all mind if I just did a creed cover right now? What Robin? Who the fuck Robin? What nobody cares for Robin ever. 
Man, fuck Bruce. Fuck Batman too. Fuck Bruce. Fuck Bruce. Can I just do Creed covers for the rest of the stream? Why? Captain Jack wished everybody a happy Easter. Hey, John Finky. Maybe six y'all. So far down. That's how Creed sound too. Every now and then I fall no, no. Oh my god, we started her. God damn it. La 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 la. La. Y'all don't even know the words. Oh my god. My right. I, don't I, don't I don't want to wait for this I'm episode to be over. I want it. Welcome right to now. the you space. I'll say, 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 i will She's asking me a question. Oh, Asta, I know you're asking. I know you're not saying that to me. I know. I know. You're, my what least, am I watching? My, my least favorite member of Murder with Click is definitely you. With Damn. Under our Hold up. Why is Mike frozen? This this nigga stuck. Yay! Everybody take a screenshot and tag it on at Stay Woke or Not right now. How many of you guys are going to get Mike frozen? In His computer shit the bed, no. No. Oh. Wait, you missed. Do it, do it. You missed it. Do it again. 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 Welcome. All right. With arms wide open. Rest in peace. Yeah, Hoster, yeah, to answer your question, because that was definitely a question, not a statement. Least favorite member is you, because I love you the most. Uh, uh, I love you the most. Because, uh, uh, like, I, I, I'm, I'm her favorite, because she'd be in my inbox being like, when are we going to do a show down here so you can come out? When you go fly out, do a show with us. When you go fly out. Hosta, I know when you get that job, you're going to be flying me out, babe. She ain't gonna fly you out. <laughs> she ain't gonna fly you out. She gonna book me for a show. What do you mean? Okay, so wait a second. You actually have a lot, a lot, a lot of music, man. I was yeah. trying to tell you, but you weren't listening. All right. So the second song. All right, those are now I the lights. Definitely play. not listening. I'm a piece of shit. It's okay. Where it's are we looking? Okay. okay. Go scroll to the album. Albums. Albums. Go right there. Yeah. And Oh, I like I like shit off of humanity. Well, we're the, the, we're gonna listen to one more song from Spiders. Let's listen to yeah. let's listen to the church. The church. Mute the fuck up.
Look at uh, that. I'll, 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 I'll give you this so you didn't have to play that long ass outro. Low key, low key love them because of Mike and Chaotic plus AMA. I'm, a, I'm starting to like MWC because of Kizu. Man, you don't like MWC. You hate MWC. Oh, man. Well, Chaotic sucks. I hate that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hate Chaotic. I suck <laughs> Fucking guy, Hoster. He's from Texas. Hoster, what's good? What's wrong with Texas? What you got against Texas? Chaotic's from there. <laughs> Let me do. Let's talk about it. You're That's from Texas. Yo, yeah. ask why Chaotic's from there. Because he sucks. <laughs> so now that he uh, <laughs> kind of got Oh, uh, wait, what did he say? He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> some keys okay. allegations. Some did come you guys up want him to come back? Did you want him to come back? Yes. Comment? Yes. You want him to get out of jail when he plays Monopoly? Wait three turns. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say about Texas? Where'd I go? What did you say <laughs> about Texas? Why was I in a Whataburger, man? <laughs> that shit was horrible. That shit had no fucking... <laughs> shit had no Five Guys shit. Had you no... muted, Iraq. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Whataburger is better than Five Guys. You can't. Shut up. Yes, Shut it up. is. And you got more options. And you got more options. <laughs> Oh my god! Can I tell you what happened in Texas at a water burger? You got a queer. Order. No, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. I was in the drive-through, right? This girl opened my car door and started maracha dancing with me at like two a.m. in the morning. I was Mexican like, all right, shit. okay. There's a water burger in, in Texas, right here. Oh my no! It go, it, no, it go down. Never been a water burger. Five guys only on Saturday. Water burgers all week. Five guys is ass booty. Wrong. But you know what? Five Guys is better than In and Out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Waterberg is better than In and Out. And Five Guys put together. I, Fat, I will say this: Fat Burger has everything. On Have you Burger ate a Water Burger though? All I'm gonna on say Burger is, King, Water Burger, all American Burger, beat all them motherfuckers. No, it day. don't. That shit tastes like that shit kind of tastes like. Tastes like, tastes like up. No, no, Shut it tastes like head. it tastes like McDonald's. It tastes like McDonald's. <laughs> did you did you mute your cam? I turned my camera up. I was like, so what? I can do it too. Uh, fight, fight me. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> what is even <laughs> happening? Okay. Uh, Dahlia, Dahlia, we're against all odds and we can't even. This is April <laughs> Fools. This is April. Y'all fucking with me today. Everyone, like, Did you call me a fool? No. Did you? Just, are you trying to fool me? She trying to fool around. She's trying you to fool, fool around. You fooled around with me, dude? Take that back, Iraq. Take it back. Downtown, I'm, never I'm had sorry. American burger. <laughs> that shit tastes like rip off McDonald's. All American downtown. You never taste. had all American downtown. Tastes like rip off McDonald's. Sorry, bro, and I don't like McDonald's. All right, sorry, did, you have, did you have the pizza though? Did we? Did we? You no, there, and you, no. Yeah, you I had the burger. For that the, the burger did hit, you and would, it was cheap. You you would have liked the pizza though. I I got downtown that pizza. I got him a Z. I got him, I think he got like a buffalo. No, nah, yeah, it's like buffalo chicken. He's like, damn, this is the best pizza I ever had. Best pizza of my life, bro. I I I did like the burgers. I was just fucking around. The burgers were straight. They're good, and they were cheap too. I was like, yes. Bro, we got mad food for like fifty bucks. We fed everybody. Yeah, yeah, we got we got a whole big ass bag. Weren't those burgers two, like only like $3? two bags? Were those burgers like what three dollars? Like two or three shit? bucks for quarter pounders. I am not at that. I am. God, damn. and they're perfect, bro. They're perfect. You don't need, you don't even need to add mayo or nothing. They're just perfect burgers. And you, you got to eat them with Tim's on. 
And are we ready to talk about music? We've got about four or five minutes left. This is the Royal Countdown. We are past that hour mark, but we like it way too much. We be talking whatever the fuck we're talking about. And um, yeah, we got more questions for you. There were some questions in the comments. That was like a billion comments ago. Uh, um, if you guys can drop the uh, question that you got. Uh, do let me know. There, there's one that did come up that intrigued me. Um, who's Hoster? Oh, <laughs> bitch. So, <laughs> so, so bad, bitch. So fucking bitch. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. Yes. Focus in your music process. Do the lyrics come first or the beat? How do how how does a song get made? It really depends on where I'm at. You know, if I'm at work and I'm just thinking of words, sometimes I'll just put them down on my phone. But mm-hmm. when I find a beat, I'm that usually matches. just trying. Yeah, usually it's I start from the bass. And if I'm like in the middle of something, I'm like, wait a minute. I wrote something down a bit ago that'll fit right here. So I like I'll put it right there or I'll start something off from, you know, something like that. And it just really depends on my move because, you know, sometimes I could just freestyle sometimes i'll write the whole thing it just really depends on where the song takes me actually do you guys want to hear him freestyle yes or no you're gonna have to tell me now i don't know if he'll do it i no be going to alberta with a going beat? to alberta yeah I'll, i want to freestyle with you on a beat somewhere am i familiar make a beat right Spends the whole stream oh, looking for a yeah. snare. I need some money. Spends yeah. the whole stream looking for a fucking some snare. Money. Bro, 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 do it. Do it. Where's All the right, you guys. Oh, I got an instrumental I could pull up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. okay. I got mad okay. instrumentals on deck. Man, you got, you got like, I want to do decky. a remix. Give me a remix. On decky. Oh, you want a mainstream beat. That yeah, what you I want to pull something funny. I think somebody stole the name of my album. What? These yeah. niggas, these niggas out here. Uh, Sean took your idea, dude. Yeah. Like, Sorry. Dude. Sorry. Dude. Dude. No, no, no. I got a really cool instrumental. I'm oh, let's play it. Just play let's that play bitch it. then. Play it. Just play that bitch then. Just play that bitch. Play that bitch then. Show us the beat. Spin that motherfucker. Where did it go? Have you ever seen short people with really yeah, long yeah. feet? I got it. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to test this on you. This is test a test. No, we're not testing my mama. She ain't here to defend herself. Now, what we're going to do is drop three con- words in the comments. Oh. Yep, and we're gonna freestyle to the words you drop in the comments. Yes. Okay, oh. yeah, yes. three words wow. in comments. Let's do it. Okay, all right, okay. Burger, okay. we got one burger. burger. I'm not even joking. Look at the comments. I see it. Burger. Does it really say burger? burger. Del, no, you can't. Del get two lab. In a row. <laughs> you can't get two in a row. Del lab. No. Burger. Okay, 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 okay. The words, two words are burger, tentacles, uh, 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 uh penis. You, no, you don't get no, no one gets two in a row. <laughs> oh, nobody and everyone, did. Uh, everyone keeps no vocal dinosaur said tentacles. Okay, also. bacon, obviously. Bacon. Okay, bacon. bacon. Okay, it's those, it's those three. It's uh, tentacles, bacon, uh-huh. and what was the first one? Del Lapa. Burger, burger, burger. burger. <laughs> tentacles, okay, bacon, yeah, and burger. Bacon, burger, tentacles. Okay, wait, hold on. So I got burger, it. I got it. Wait, no, 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 no. I didn't. Tentacles and then what? Bacon, burger, tentacles. Bacon. bacon. Okay, y'all. Bacon, burger, tentacles. This is a music Monday. There ain't no vibe quite like this. I, I promise you. Okay. Three, two, Juan. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They can't know my burger, no, no, can't go out of marble. I don't take pedicles to the party. I feel your take rooms at the party. I wreck little my car at the party. Murder words take over the party. Go crazy. Why the fuck I gotta get so wavy? I can feel your bold. I read bold. I love it though. You know that I gotta be bold. Hey, hold up, I got one. No two burgers looking the same. Eat shit identical. Coming out the ski and wave. It goes to tentacle. Eat it up like a vegetable. Eat it up with a sentimental. And it goes inside a metal. It feels so coincidental. Feeling the vibe, feeling the mind, feeling the twist, feel it divine, feel it inside of your eyes, feel it inside of your soul. Eat it up, tip it up, switch it up, chop it up, and put it on top of the grill. Feel the gills, feeling like everything's going to chill, feeling the frills. Feeling the frills, who's that one that gave me no deals? Yeah, I know they packing up burgers. Who's that one that making me nervous? Nah. So good that baby in the crack. Who's that one that blame it right back? Yeah, I got your tentacles in my hair. Wow, ma, you like it right there. Yeah, you throw it back with a few. Who's that one that say yo you? Who's that one with a layer, layer, layers on the table? I got tomatoes in my sriracha sauce. They hate it when I'm a big boss. Yo, I got another sense. And the one that brings it back. I went through the drive-through. I'm Fun in a snack. What you mean, you big hate? But you know it's kind of station. But you kind of say it's station. Man, you don't know. Break it up. What you got, my tentacles? They ain't no woke or not. They got no mania. They blame it when they hit the spot. I be playing Nintendo DS on the daily. On the daily, I won't have a baby because I play Nintendo DS on the daily. It's very hard to rap in this circumstance because it's very offbeat for me due to the oh, delay. Oh no! Yeah, the, the yeah. delay. The delay is wow. It was hard for me to take it yeah. serious. I was like, because then I didn't know we were, who was starting first. So I was like, bacon burger, and then you start freestyle. I'm like, I don't even want to rap no more. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't even want to rap. I, I quit rapping. Wait, am I? I did gonna, I scare you? Did I scare no, you? No, I was like, damn, I, 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 the delay is gonna fuck me. We've actually, I think like the first time that I've ever had like a freestyle scenario was with, was with Kizoto, at least in Murderworth Click, was with Kizoto and Irek was there too. Like uh, we were preparing, we were preparing for the show. We were just playing beats or whatever. And like, we were just like going in and, uh, I was tearing my ass off. He was talking about my mom and my grandma. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck your mom and your granddad in the ass. J JCP like was flowing too. JCP yeah. was flowing too, and so I, I think Ginger was on the mic a couple times at no, least. Ginger, Wait. when Ginger goes on the mic, it goes flip and dip, and I'll rip the skip and dip. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, uh, audience, also known everyone, as Sean White. Everyone here was that <laughs> was that decent or was that shit? I couldn't hear y'all niggas. <laughs> it's like the beat. And y'all just like. And then I was just like. And I was going. Make it burger with the calamari. Got no tentacles. Calamari was, burger wait, wait, with wait, no wait, tentacles. Wait, 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 wait. I heard that was horrible. And then I had the stank face. I'm not sure. I want. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's mixed reviews. I got, right now I we're on right now we're on debut night, so there's mixed reviews. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of like the idea of like saying like my hands are in your brain like tentacles, and then I stacked you up like a stack of burgers, and then your homies are coming through to eat my burger. I was into it. Eat your burger sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> muted, you muted, babe. Why are you muted, bro? I reck why you, muted. Why are you quiet. I was why gonna say quiet? it was meant to be an innuendo. Innuendo. That's what I said. <laughs> it was purposely done. She she had bars for you. I 
I brought it. But, I'm um, going to Alberta to bacon eat your burger. burger with the calamari, <laughs> no tentacles. Bacon <laughs> burger with the calamari, no tentacles. I'm just coming to eat the burger. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you have any more questions, that is a music Monday. By the way, before you leave, don't fucking move, please. Uh, if you haven't already, get some brew or a hoodie on the website, staywokeornot.com. I'll go ahead and show you guys where that is. Merch, 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 merch. Merch, 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 merch. Merch. We got merch on merch. We got dog hoodies. We got, uh, what else we got? I forgot. Coffee. Coffee. We got hot bitches on the website, obviously. Um, beanies. We got coffee, beans, and beanies. You know what? I want someone to really get a phone cover. This thing is oh, cute as fuck. I love my phone cover. And just so you guys can see. Oh, shoot. Just so you guys can see, it's actually really sturdy and cute. Look at oh, it. Oh, damn. I thought she was going to pull out another phone. I said, you trapping? <laughs> it's mugs, you goon. It's mugs. I don't sell cups. I sell mugs. Isn't a mug a cup? It's a type of cup, right? Man, fuck Jesus. Jesus man. Hashtag me in the, mugging. In the booty. We have mugs. Look at the mugs. We even got this guy on the website. Check him Where out. That some some guy. Me yeah. mugging. Ever stumbled upon something so dope you couldn't wait to share? No. Check out the enamel camping mug, my oh, latest obsession. Imagine sipping your favorite coffee drink or fine. We have an Australian selling our mug. As you. Thanks you guys to its didn't know that? lightweight design, you can take it anywhere. Lightweight, yet mean tough mugging. as nails for all nice. your adventures, indoors mean or out. No boring mugs, only vibes. Get yours, feel the bliss, and elevate every sip. Experience the hype you, now. Trendsetters. 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 Look at this mug. So cute. We even have cute girls look like drinking from the mug here. Okay. So if you haven't already, take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Last thing. Uh, I doubt this is going to happen, but check out the backpack. Fucking backpack. Hell yeah. It's actually a laptop bag and my car got repossessed and my bag is in there. So yeah. Anyways, long story short, you guys should get one because I have no access to mine. Woo! Um, staywogernot.com. Did you get us on the gram? Everybody drop your grams. Be sure to follow and encourage each other on your journey, uh, your music journey. I think it's all very, very important for us to continue to strive to produce what we feel is our art. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna end it on that. Thank y'all. It was a pleasure. Stay woke or not. That's it. No, like, no loudness. What? Peace, niggas. Ah!